Hey everyone, this is Digital Ninja Lee. Today I'm playing Valkyria Chronicles 4. Skirmish number 4 on normal. I'm just going to show you um, a good way to get the A rank in one turn. Um, so, important thing you have to have is Dan. Um, get two, get Raz and just really another shock up there. And then uh, Scout as well. And then, you know, have... The Kai and uh, Riley for your extra CP there, because um, basically all you're going to be doing is using um, Dan to move the two shock troopers up ahead, and the scout to kind of follow behind too to help out. Um, scout may not be 100% completely necessary, but it's good to kind of have it as like a backup. So as you see here, I'm going to use Dan and the Cactus to pick up the two shock troopers over here. Um, so once I pick them up, I'm going to go for the first enemy in this little um, top alley, I guess you can kind of call it. I'm going to get, get this one scout with the Cactus and basically just move on in to the trench that you're going to go towards the objective. And basically, you're just going to move your units there um, in that little trench at the top and then go into the objective um, and also using the command option as well to get all three of these guys to go to the same location. Basically, it's uh, kind of a contingency thing. Like right now, I have the flamethrower unlocked, so it kind of helps out a lot. But if you don't, then you know you can have all three units with you to make sure that enemy is defeated. And also, like as you can see in this video, I got hit by the grenadier, and it kind of slows me down. But uh, not a big problem. But um, just go for this scout here. Might do this, which kind of stinks. Um, but if he does then you can just always use the cactus to defeat him afterwards which is what i'm going to be doing here the alternative to thing too is you know you can see my scout has the grenade launcher on it so um you can also use the grenade launcher but again i like to just in case something doesn't work out i like to still have that grenade launcher available but as you see here the cactus will defeat this scout right here and then continue on <laughs> I'm on it. Anyone injured? So next I'm going to have the scout kind of start going into this trench here and actually go for one of the enemies that's at the way in there. Um, in this particular playthrough I don't get him the first try um, but if you do then it even saves you another turn to um, where you don't have to go and defeat him to progress so here's my first deploy from the cactus can you use Zyga first and he's just gonna go up there and <clears throat> finish off the enemy that the scout couldn't um, and then gonna try to get everyone together like right to the left here like right before that sandbag um, could have even gone a little further away just so when I get Raz out of here and shoot for the enemy behind the shock the shock behind there um, that they all can kind of shoot together and that's kind of ideal but uh, I don't think I get close enough in this case, so I think it's just him by himself. Because sometimes, just like the other guy, uh, he can kind of crouch too and you can miss. Um, but, you know, you have a few shots here, so it's not too bad. So yeah, I position Raz there, and then I take Teresa <clears throat> up with them. And also, like, so say like the enemy behind wasn't killed then you know she would be a contingency plan too you can use the grenade you can shoot him whatever you want to do um, for that in this case I'm just gonna heal her just in case you know she would need to be used but after she's healed the next turn you'll see I'm going to use the command option and go to command both of them to come with 
Raz to the point. And there's really just one guy there, so it's really not too bad. Another advantage of using the command option is also, as you can see, there is AP kind of just resets to the maximum. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, you can just shoot him regularly, um, or um, in this case, I'm using the flamethrower just to really make sure that he goes away. But after that, I capture the point, and we're good to go. Um, so this is a pretty quick one to do the skirmish on. Like, I could see people using this to just farm for experience and the currency in this because um, it only takes about five minutes I think like to do this um, so it's really not too bad but yeah that's it for the A rank in one turn thanks for watching everybody and I will continue to post videos of the rest of these skirmishes as I complete them so again thanks for watching